It was Sunday 13 December 2020 and a visit to Cold Bay seemed just the right thing to do. With Christmas approaching, the excitement of festivities and the long sunny days rang in our minds to get out and enjoy the day. So that's where we're off to. The drive there is magnificent with fantastic views. From the highway we decided to take the scenic route through Boys Drive, which bypasses the busy main road. It's a spectacular drive, overlooking the vast False Bay, with Borden's Bay to the left and Cape Point to the right. On our arrival, Colt Bay was bustling with activity and we first quenched our thirst and had some delicious food at a Portuguese restaurant. Good afternoon, I'm Joao. Hello, I'm Delfina. What I have the, we had this uh, Portuguese restaurant here in Colt Bay called Bay da Madre. And uh, it's the first time we've been here. We've heard about it, it's, it's, I think it's been open for about a year. And uh, yeah, we had to try it out and uh, we decided to take a drive today. Um, there's a possibility, there's a, a strict lockdown starting from tomorrow. You'll find out tonight and uh, yeah, we're enjoying the day and, uh, and we're going to have a, a Portuguese meal, yeah. Yes. I'm not sure yet what. Uh, what we're going to order. We'll see. So we got some uh, a calamari starter and then uh, enjoying some nice uh, KWV wine and we'll see what, what's in the menu what we're gonna order. We'll see you now. I'm having a cavalier fish and it seems like a, a very big piece of fish with uh, rice and potatoes, some garlic sauce on over there. Alfina is having a um, alpha chicken with prawns and chips and we're going to be sharing the meal between the two of us. Yeah, this is a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> the food looks lovely. Uh, I like this fish, Caballero. What is your name? Vincent. 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 Yeah. It was nice to be here. No, lekker. Thanks. Sir. Thanks Obrigado, for coming. Eh? Yeah, lekker. Obrigado. Yeah. Ciao. Eh? Right. Ciao. A stroll along the main street is a must when visiting this town, where lots of people are out in the restaurants and some shops.
There is a railway line from the central business district of Cape Town to Simonstown, which passes through Colt Bay. And in some places, the line is only meters from the water's edge. Fond memories from my younger days linger in my mind, and I've been blessed to have done this train ride many years ago. From here, we headed out to the harbor where small scale fishermen with their fishing boats anchor and trade from. It was very windy here and I struggle to remember a day when the wind doesn't blow here in a hurried fashion. Pretty late now in the evening, in the afternoon. But if you really want to have some good fish, you must come here at about 11 o'clock in the morning. The Cape seals are everywhere looking for the next easy meal and are very protective of the area where the next meal will be. We got very close to some seals while they patiently waited to catch the next fish scraps from the fish cleaning bay area. Some onlookers teased them and they would lurch back with aggressive barks, loud enough to hasten the onlookers to quickly scatter. Unfortunately, we didn't get footage of that.
And so the sun was settling behind the mountain, and it was time to head back home to Paul, but not before a visit to the famous Olympia Cafe and Bakery in Colt Bay, where we enjoyed a coffee and tea and took in the moments of the day.